And now she's asking for a pile of pancakes. No question. Hey. Grandma, wake up! We need to make pancakes! Oh, um, I know how to do that. Grandma and Shab needed the dough so quickly that no one even noticed it. And now they're frying pancakes. It looks delicious, but I can do better. I'll add some food coloring to the dough. There'll be different colors. Wow, Handy decided to place the baby with something unusual. Look what a bright colored dough he has. It'll be very tasty and beautiful. Oh. oh. You're so sloppy, Andy. And in general, pancakes are best with some maple syrup and a piece of butter. What? This is a simple, proven over the years recipe. Pancakes with maple syrup? This will not surprise anyone. Here's a serving of pancakes from a professional. I'll need an egg for that. This recipe is called poached egg. It is necessary to boil water in a saucepan and break the egg directly into the water. And while it's cooking, I'll take slices of ham and leaves of greens. And I'll put it all beautifully between the pancakes. Awesome. It's time for the baby to appreciate the efforts of the participants of the challenge. First from Andy. They're simply delicious, especially in combination with marshmallows. And now let's try pancakes from grandma. They look pretty simple, however very tasty. And pancakes from the chef look unusual, but the raw yolk of a poached egg is disgusting. The baby did not appreciate it. And the victory goes to Andy. Yeah, I won! Let me fix it for you. Don't touch it, grandma. Attention, everyone. The baby wants a juicy steak. No question. Grandma can do it. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. I'll be fine. That's it. We take it and fry it. Nothing complicated. How can you fry without oil? You need to lubricate the grill pan thoroughly. Yeah, I'm going to add oil too! Duh. Oh, Andy, don't add so much oil. And of course you should try to get oil in the pan. Now we throw a piece of meat into a frying pan and fry it. <sighs> wow! <laughs> Impressed? Come on. Absolutely! Oh, uh, I can do it too! <laughs> of course, Andy, the main thing is not to miss the frying pan. Oh, uh, I didn't miss! <sighs> oh, young man, watch and learn! By the way, my steak is almost ready. Now you can also add some salt. <laughs> cool throw! Big deal! Hey. Grandma, look, I'm going to give you a lift now! Are you look, ready? I'm like a real chef! No! Oh no! It fell on the floor! <laughs> yes, and it collected hair and dirt, and it's also raw and undercooked. <laughs> uh, maybe she won't notice? Oh my god. Oh, you can't serve a dish like that. I don't know what to do. I'll pour more ketchup. It'll hide all the flaws. That's it. Mm, it smells great. Oh, thank you, Mia. My steak is really beautiful. It remains to add springs and rosemary as a decoration. And that's all your decoration, Grandma? I know something better. Mia knows the secret of the famous golden steak. It'll be a real golden steak like in the most expensive restaurant. Meat should be cut with a sharp knife so as not to spoil the appearance of the steak. Oh, well, that's how it is. I didn't know it. Ready? Now you can serve it. Finally, you can try the dishes. Meat with ketchup does not cause the baby's appetite. Um, just look at it. You can see the hair endured. And the golden steak. I wonder if the baby will taste it. Hmm. It seems delicious, but not impressive. Grandma's steak smells delicious, and most of all, it came to the baby's liking. Simple and no frills, but what a taste! Grandma's steak undoubtedly takes the first place! I won! Hooray! It's time to eat dessert, and the baby wants to eat… ice cream. Oh, I know the recipe's fried ice cream. Oh, grandma can make ice cream? Nothing complicated! So what is in the recipe? You need to chop it into small pieces. Okay. Hmm. How beautiful! Now I'm going to chop it into pieces too! <laughs> Easy as pie! I like chopping ice cream! Watch your knives, young man! And don't throw food around the kitchen! Ugh, got carried away! Sorry, Grandma! <laughs> That's what happens when amateurs get to work. Meanwhile, I have already prepared everything. 
It remains to complete the dish with a beautiful serving. Oh, everything turned out perfectly. I'll decorate the ice cream with lemon zest. The sour taste of lemon is perfectly combined with the sweetness of ice cream. Some mint leaves and some smoke of dry ice. This is how ice cream is served in the most refined restaurants. Awesome. Just look at this. Incredible. <laughs> wow! Grandma also prepared everything. Cut and twist. Um, uh, it's not really working out. The ice cream's stuck. Okay, let's just put some chocolate syrup on top. No. <laughs> That's funny. I'm almost done too. Nothing complicated. <laughs> now I'll put in a bowl and decorate it with whipped cream. I love it. I'll have much more for the baby. And now I'll sprinkle some rainbow Skittles candies. A sugar straw for beauty and some Oreo cookies. Please. Grandma, will you let me? Okay. Oh, thank you. Now I'm going to pour oh chocolate God. syrup. Oh, so much sugar. Oh, yeah. Let's see what the baby thinks. The colored ice cream from my brother looks incredibly beautiful. But the gorgeous presentation from the chef struck the baby more. Time to try it. A oh, lemon says it's too sour. Oh. Ice cream slices and chocolate mm. syrup looks unappetizing, but it tastes nothing unusual. <laughs> Finally, it's time to try the ice cream from the brother. Whipped cream, sugar straws, and Skittles. Incredibly delicious combination. Mm. Awesome. And the winner is… Brother. <gasps> yeah! I knew it! Grandma, let me hug you! <laughs> What? Everyone concentrate, oh. we continue our culinary duel. The next request is a croissant. The French really like to eat croissants with coffee for breakfast. Oh, grandma, are you from France? Do you know how to cook croissants? Grandma knows everything. They can be put in the oven and let's wait for it to cook. Ah, I can do that too! One second and let's bake! Hmm, well done, yeah. grandson. I don't approve of frozen dough. Cooking it yourself is not so difficult. By the way, our chef Mia has worked in the best restaurants in Paris and knows the oldest recipe for croissants. According to the recipe, dishes were prepared for Louis himself, the king of France. Therefore, the baby is waiting for a truly royal dessert. And the brother and grandmother watch the chef actions in amazement. How devilish she kneaded the dough, laid it out in layers, and twisted it. What a skill! It remains only to put it in the oven and wait. I won't be able to cook so cool, but I'll add Nutella to my croissants. Oh, my favorite chocolate nut paste. Mmm, delicious. Oh, what kind of manners. It's time to get their croissants. Mmm, how wonderful and rosy. Andy? Look! You're on fire! Oh no! Not that! Mm, the brother got carried away with Nutella and his croissants burned down. Yes, the chocolate paste is really very tasty. Don't worry, you're doing great. Yeah, croissants are baked. It's time to start serving. I need an incision and you can pour out prepared cream. I'll add strawberries and I'll decorate the dish with powdered sugar on top. Voila! Everything is ready. Now we can try it. Burn croissants from the brother look terrible. Yeah, it's not worth trying them. Ugh, oh, what a smell! Croissants from grandma are delicious, sweet, and so nice! Our baby really liked it. Wow, strawberry sweet cream and delicious dough made according to the royal recipe. Without a doubt, croissants from the chef take the first place. Oh, thank you. I knew that. French fries! Great, I'll cook the most delicious potatoes. First, you need to pour the oil into the pan. And now cut the potatoes and fry them properly. Grandma, it doesn't really look like french fries. Um, for the best. Then I'll win this round. So, I'm going to peel the potatoes. Oh, um, it didn't work out very well. We need a special peeler. Yes! Now it's going to work. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that's how you need to cut potatoes. One, two, and you're done. <laughs> and no one makes fries in a frying pan. After all, this is a deep fryer. We put potatoes and fry it in oil. There we go. Just look at this golden crust. 
great. Oh, where are my potatoes? Did I peel it all off? Mm, what do I do? Don't worry, dear. But what potatoes are without sauce? Ketchup is not for me. I'm the chef. And all the best chefs in the world cook tomato paste on their own. Well, here's a masterpiece. Perfect french fries. Everyone has already fried the potatoes and I have these skins. What do I do? I know. Why suffer if you can just order delivery? And here are the potatoes. Oh. <laughs> Homemade potatoes. French fries from the chef. Wow, so many delicious things. Except for this one. Mm, and these potatoes look delicious. I'll try it. Oh, how spicy! I don't want spicy. What do we have here? Mmm, delicious. I like these french fries. Hooray, I won! That's it. So, so, what are we cooking now? I want scrambled eggs. Easy. Every dish should be cooked with love. Therefore, my scrambled eggs will be in the shape of a heart. You need to fry the sausages and then break the egg. It turned out just wonderful. Awesome! The bigger the fire, the faster it gets fried, right? The stove to the maximum, and now the egg. Oh, um, the shell has fallen. Maybe it'll be unnoticeable. It's even better this way. No, you can still see the shell. We need to come up with something. I'll mix it up. Oh, honey, something's obviously gone wrong. Then I'll add milk. Now you definitely can't see anything. Watch and learn. This is how real chefs cook. Down with a frying pan, we're going to need a toaster. I'll chop the onion and garlic. Then an avocado. I'll mix it all together. Great. And now I'll use a blender. It turned out great. We need to spread it on the toast. Like that. Now it's the egg time. One will be quite enough. I'll break it into a bowl. And put the bowl in a saucepan with boiling water. That's what a wonderful egg I got. It remains only to serve the dish beautifully. Amazing! The final touch. Like that. Wow, it turned out to be really cool. I need to serve a dish too. Ketchup and mussels will do. Honey, are you sure? Ready? We'll see, we'll see. It doesn't look good. Wow, a heart. Grandma, this fried egg is definitely yours. Down with a fork. I want to take it with my hands. Mmm, delicious. And what do we have here? It looks interesting. And the taste? Mmm, yeah, something strange. Granny definitely won. Oh, grandson, I'm so glad. What are we going to cook this time? Pizza. Pizza? Something complicated. And how do I cook it? Probably need to knead the dough. Mmm, it worked. Or not really. Oh, why is it so sticky? Well, well, I have an idea. Take my dough, dear. Thank you, Grandma. But what about you? Hey. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'll need a new dough. All you need to do is mix a few ingredients. And I'll pour the finished dough into a hot frying pan. It'll turn out to be a wonderful pizza base. Then I'll pour ketchup and add healthy vegetables. And some cheese. While there, it remains only to wait. Yeah, who cooks pizza like that? 
Special corn flour is needed for the base. Only professionals like me know this. Then knead the dough. And now we need to form the bases. To do this, let's fly the dough. Wow. Oh, I want it that way too. Come on, fly. Oops, it fell. Well, now it's all dirty. How to fix it? I know, a little disguise won't hurt. A little ketchup. A little bit of olives next. Pepper. And sausages. And now you can fold everything. And of course, press it down. What a nightmare. I wish I hadn't seen it. Down with the vegetables. Tomato paste, pepperoni, and cheese. <laughs> Nothing superfluous. And now I'll put the pizza in the microwave. Let it bake. It will turn out incredibly good. A microwave oven? The toaster will be enough. I would like to stuff it. Mm, yeah, it didn't turn out how I expected. And I did it perfectly. However, it couldn't be otherwise. Here's my pizza. Here is mine. And my masterpiece. Well, let's try. It seems that someone wanted to poison me. This is terrible. But this looks good. I'll try it. And it tastes pretty good. Wow! Mmm, this pizza is just perfect! And the most delicious one! Who else could have won if not me? Come on! I want pancakes! I'm a pancake master! Easy, I'll make the fire stronger! Great! And now carefully pour out the dough! But it's very important to turn it over on time! I don't understand why you should make a lot of small pancakes if you could just make one big one. Besides, an ordinary pancake is boring. But with gummies… It's just great. Hmm. Oh, the gummies have melted. Yeah, who would have thought? What? Okay, I'll make another pancake. This time with M&Ms. And another one? Well, multicolored sprinkles. And I'll pour maple syrup on the pancakes. And they're good. Well, we must not lag behind. I know. If you add Nutella to the dough, the dough will turn out to be chocolate. The main thing is to mix well. And I'll put a piece of chocolate in the center. Great. The chocolate is melting right in the center. Turn it over. Wait a little. Great. Berries to decorate pancakes. And now I'll pour strawberry syrup on top. Just wonderful. It looks perfect. Ready? Baked with love. The best pancakes in the world. You like mine the most. That's what we're going to find out. Hmm. Ugh. It's disgusting. And Granny's pancakes? Mmm. Delicious. So, so. What has the chef prepared? Mmm. Great. But Grandma won anyway. Right? Hmm. Let's start with a simple one. Cook me some french fries. Easy. It will be done. I just want to learn how to cook. While everyone is spilling potatoes, I'd better hit the butter. By the way, there is never much of it. Well, the butter is almost boiling, which means that it's time to pour out the ready-made slices of french fries. No! Stop! It's splashing! Come on! Help! What are you doing? Because of you, we were almost bombarded by boiling oil. The oil should be poured carefully. Then fry the potatoes evenly. 
Put em. Nothing difficult. Okay. The french fries are ready. There's only a little sauce left to add. <sighs> fries? In my opinion, this is an ordinary fried potato. And I'll make real french fries. But that's not all. Now I'm going to make a real delicacy out of ordinary potatoes. I'll need bacon, some sauce, and of course, sweet rosemary. Mm, smells so good. Uh -oh. oh, I haven't lost everything yet. Why not use marmalade potato? They say if you dip it in strawberry syrup, it'll be even better. Okay. Well, I'll start trying with potatoes in the middle. Mmm, Grandma, this is very nice. Oh, ew! I can't stand rosemary. I'm sorry, Madame Chef, but I didn't like it. But I appreciate the idea of marmalade potatoes. Brother, you're doing great. Now I don't know who to choose. Let it be, grandmother. Hooray! This time, this task is more difficult. You need to cook sushi. Come on! It'll be done. According to the best recipe. What? Sushi? Sushi? Yeah, I have no idea what sushi is in the countryside. What is that? I'm going to make sushi that you never dreamed of. What? Ordinary sushi is boring. Another thing is sushi made out of different candies. Instead of cream cheese, there will be delicious whipped cream inside. And of course, gummies. Perfect. We must not forget about the chocolate syrup. An interesting idea. I will also have sushi ready very soon. The main thing is to repeat very carefully after the chef. Nothing complicated yet. Nothing complicated. So let's see what disgusting sushi you have. <sighs> I can add sauce too. You don't have to be super smart for that. What is that? Avocado? The most important thing is to twist everything perfectly, which you, Grandma, certainly won't succeed at. ta -dum. The perfect sushi is almost ready. What a horror! I didn't think your sushi was so ugly! Wow. It's time to wrap sushi in salmon. The main thing is to add a lot of fish cut into chunky pieces. And we must not forget about soy sauce. Hmm. Fish, you say? Okay. It will be done. Perfect. I hope it turned out delicious. <gasps> wow. Oh no! The chef's sushi look more attractive. What? Bingo! I can't put this whore in front of my granddaughter, but I have an idea. Why not make cucumber sushi? It's both delicious and healthy. Oh, really? And disgusting. What is that? Cucumber is an ideal ingredient for sushi. You just need to put more rice into it. Pew. It doesn't look good. Wait a little, I'm not done. Adam, look what a beauty. What is this? What? I've never seen cucumber and rice sushi. They don't even have fish. I'm not tasting it. But I will try sweet sushi okay. with pleasure. Hooray! Mmm! Delicious! But it's not satisfying at all. The last candidate is left. Wow. Here they are! Real sushi! Mmm! Mm, so good! Madame Chef, you have one! Thank you, but it was obvious. Oh no! I hope each of you can make a waffle. I heard that you need to start with dough. I think I won't have any problems with it. Okay. We'll add some sugar. Yeah! Mix it up a little. 
Perfect. It's time to add flour. Wow. Oh, oh no. I think I got something in my nose. <laughs> Well, here's a waffle. It's okay. This flour is enough for me to make delicious waffle. Oh, no. You just need to stir everything well. Let's do it. Okay, so now my finished dough can be poured into a waffle iron. These will be the most delicious waffles in my sister's life. Mmm, the dough turned out very tasty, and most importantly, without eggshells. I hope it will make a decent waffle. Aww. Everyone added sugar, but I know that sugar is harmful. So I'll add a whole ripe eggplant instead, and I'll make dough out of it. Let's do it. It will be absolutely perfect. Perfect. And now, we'll add some eggs. And of course, some flour. Let's mix it up well. And add some greens for the taste. It even sounds disgusting. But this dough is much better than yours. Mm, what? And now, you can pour it into a waffle iron. Just like that. And let's time it so we don't burn it. Yeah, timing is pretty good. Oh, it seems the waffle is a little burnt. No, no. Oh, hot, hot! But that's okay. I will hide it's not very pleasant appearance with whipped cream, some berries, and chocolate syrup. Just like that. It's awesome! Mm -hmm. And I will traditionally pour maple syrup on my waffles. <laughs> A piece of butter will also not be extra. Oh, really? oh It's so yummy. <laughs> and I will decorate my already healthy waffles with healthy herbs. Hello! Let's try it! I'll start with this one. Oh, ew! Your waffle is kind of overcooked. I won't eat that. And this one? Ew! This waffle tastes like grass and eggplant. I hate it. Disgusting. And this one is pretty good. Oh, yes. That's just what I wanted. Grandma, you're winning this round. Hooray. Finally, I want to drink a cup of delicious coffee. Wow. It'll okay. be done. <laughs> Easy. I just came up with a brilliant idea. Hot coffee is boring. Today, cold coffee, which is frappuccino, is infection. You need to throw ice in a large jar. Wow. Then you need to add delicious chocolate syrup there. And of course, we must not forget about the coffee itself. Ah! I have it from Starbucks, by the way. And a cocktail of Twix chocolates will definitely not be extra. I'll blend it up a little and use it instead of milk. <laughs> and I think I'll make a more classic coffee. I know that my granddaughter loves it. <sighs> Ta da! And this is the end. You need to add whipped cream and some chocolate sweets. Let's go! Yeah! <sighs> Oreo cookies. Mmm, mm, so yummy. And a candy bar. Of course, we must not forget about the straw. <sighs> oh well, it's my turn to make coffee. With the help of a scale, I will measure the right amount of grains. Perfect. Okay. Now, I will manually grind them to be the desired state. Look and learn. 
And only now I will pour boiling water to the coffee. The coffee is actually made that way? Perfect. <sighs> now I will pour coffee into the cup. Mm, and I'll blend the milk on my own as well. Mm -hmm. You should also not forget about the appearance. Look what a beauty! Wow! <laughs> um, I'll start with the middle one. Grandma, I'll always recognize this coffee. And it's time to admit that I don't like it at all. Oh. <laughs> okay. The first mug looks more pleasant. Delicious, but a little bitter for me. No. The last candidate left to win. Mmm, that's really cool. Brother, you win this round. Yeah, finally! I suggest starting with a simple one. Prepare delicious pasta for me. Easy, okay. it'll be done. I can cook pasta, but I can't. But never mind, I'll think of something. It seems to be done quite simply. All you need to do is pull the spaghetti in boiling water. Only they're too long for this pot. We need to shove them deeper. The easiest way to do this, of course, is with your hands. Ah! How hot! My poor hands! Who does that? You just need to spread the spaghetti around the perimeter of the pen. They will cook and gradually fall into the water themselves. It's very simple. Awesome. Spaghetti! Oh, what on. kind of store-bought stuff is this anyway? Oh no! The best spaghetti what? is spaghetti made with your own hands. In my restaurant, I serve only such pasta. Yeah! In fact, there is nothing complicated about it. The main thing is to love your job. Trick cooking spaghetti with a soul. So I'm going to do everything from the beginning to the end on my own. Let's make some dough. And then cook some spaghetti from it. Okay. And to make it an unusual black color, I'll add a little food coloring. The dough is ready. Now we need to be properly made. Like that. Let's time it. Oh, it's too okay. long. What? In fact, oh, everything can be done much easier. What? Is that all? See, it's not long at all. But from such a deal, we'll have unrealistically delicious spaghetti. So, you need to roll out the dough thoroughly. Let's do it. And then, cut it into thin strips with a special knife. See? Now you can throw it in a saucepan. Ta-da! Okay. A couple of minutes and the best spaghetti in your life is ready. It's time to fry the octopuses. They will add sophistication to the pasta. It looks very expensive. Granny, what are you doing? Ketchup is disgusting. I like it. Oh no! What's going on here? Tom, what are you doing? I'm trying to get the noodles out of the pot! And it doesn't want to fall into the plate in any way! Don't worry, you just overdid the spaghetti a little. Okay. And what do I do now? Right! I'm done with spaghetti! There's a way to make pasta much faster and tastier! To do this, you need a box of Korean Pororo noodles. It's not just delicious, but also so bright! Oh, what a mess. Oh, You're just jealous of me. But Kay will definitely awesome. choose my pasta. Oh, come on! Well, well. I think I'll start with these black spaghetti. I've never seen anything like this before. Let's what? see. Uh, how oh. disgusting! <laughs> Who eats this at all? The okay. portion from the center looks much more ordinary. Spaghetti with ketchup, of course, I love, but... Um, it's too easy. Although it's pretty delicious. Okay. And now it's time for Pororo noodles. Let's see what it tastes like. The main thing is so bright. Wait, why is it so spicy? What a horror! But it was so cool. I love spicy. So, Tom, congratulations. 
congratulations on your victory! This time, make me delicious cacao! What are you waiting for? It's time to start! It will be done. I think I can handle it. Everything will be okay. perfect. Of course, you need to start with milk. It needs to be poured into a saucepan so that it gradually warms up. You need to pour cacao into it next and stir it all slowly. I'll resort to the secret ingredient and add some chocolate to the cacao. Then it will become much more delicious. That is my secret. Well, is it time to pour a drink into a mug? It is best to do this with a ladle. That way you definitely won't spill anything past the mug. Mm, how lovely. Also, it smells incredibly delicious. Yeah, it stinks all over the room. Grandma, your recipe is certainly not the worst, but why did you stop so early? What about the cream? Cream, by the way, will be much tastier if you whip it yourself. Let's do it. So, I pour it into a bowl. And I'm gonna mix it. Perfect. Let's move on. Come on! I'll decorate your cow with the resultant cream. But that's not all. Cool. It will look even more appetizing okay. if I put some marshmallows on top of the cream. Let's do it. Oh, it's perfect now. Oh. Why suffer so much? Oh. You can just use whipped cream. But I also like the idea of marshmallows. So I'll decorate cacao with marshmallows. But this is not the end. Why not add Oreo cookies? They're so nice. Okay. And they look perfect cool. there. Or for example, m and M candies. Or even better, add everything. And of course, awesome. do not forget about the chocolate syrup. That's what I like. Kay will definitely be thrilled. Oh. Let's see. Tom, your cacao looks really cool. I think I'll start with it. Really? It's just unrealistically delicious. I hope the next candidates will be not worse. Next, I'll try cacao for my beloved grandmother. Grandma, I'm sorry, but Tom turned out better. The last candidate left. Mm, I really like this cacao too, but which one should I choose? I think I like Tom's version a lot. Now, I want you to make me chips. I hope you can do it. Oh, chips? It'll be done. We'll see who's the winner. How are chips made in general? I'm just used to eating them, not cooking them. Tom, you need to peel the potatoes first. This is done very simply with the help of a special device. Now, each potato needs to be cut into thin slices so that it looks like real chips. Look how perfect they are. I'll do the rest of the potatoes now. And now, you can fry them. The main thing is not to spare the oil. Then the chips will turn out more crispy. I've got everything! Now I'll make my better chips! She has never tried anything like this before! It turns out that potatoes can be peeled with an ordinary knife! How oh, cool! Tom, what are you doing? Stop littering! Uh, I think I went a little overboard. But I cleaned out everything! Well, now my favorite part. Potatoes need to be cut into thin slices. I also remember it's important not to spear the oil. In my opinion, there's quite a lot of it in my frying pan. It's time to dump the potatoes there. Tom, there's even too much oil. Therefore, it splashes in different directions. Yeah, you don't know how to cook chips. But I'll make real nachos for Kate. 
To do this, take a corn tortilla and cut it into identical triangles. <laughs> then you need to pour a little oil into a frying pan and spread these triangles on it. They will fry and turn into real nachos. Perfect. You can pull them out. They turn out just yeah. amazing. Now the nachos need to be spread out beautifully on a plate. As a sauce, we can use some cheese. So nachos will be even better. And it'll also be cool to add a little lime. Let's cut it. I've got it! How nice and beautiful it turned out! Perfect. I hope Kate likes it. Wait, where did the smell of burn coming from? Tom, what have you done? Oh, I just took my mind off chips for a second. Oh, now I have to give Kate this overcooked embers. Oh, don't be upset. Maybe okay. she'll like it. I know what can help me. If you sprinkle some cheese seasoning on the chips, Kate won't even know that I overcooked them a little. Perfect. <laughs> I did it. I don't know about that. Come on! Well, well. Everything looks very cool. Tom, according to tradition, I'll start with your dish. Ugh, disgusting! It's like I'm eating charcoal with cheese powder! Horrible! I wonder what the chef has prepared? To be honest, I've never tried real nachos before. Um, apparently I'm not a fan. I don't really like them. Grandma, there's only one version left to try. Grandma, I'm loving it! You win this round! Perfect! I wonder what awaits our participants at the first challenge. Wow, is that lemonade? Looks like Grandma can't wait to start cooking. She starts cutting the lemon into neat slices like this. We put them in a large glass, a little sugar… Wow, take it easy, Grandma! What did these lemons do to you? Calm down, it's alright. Add carbonated water. Great. Now we're on the way. Some ice and mint. Good job, oh. Grandma. Now it's the chef's turn. Now I'll show you how to make real lemonade. By the way, according to my signature recipe… To begin with, thinly slice the cucumber, twist the slices, and throw them into a glass with ice. <laughs> what a fragrance. We add green tea to the glass. My favorite kind. Now we cut lime. We need to slice and laminate and one slice as decoration. Decorate with cucumber and… Fresh mint. Oh. That's it. Perfect. Wow, how cool! Um, I got carried away with the soda. Wait a minute! And this is a good idea! Pour the soda into a glass. Oh yeah, berries are perfect! Add sugar. Some sweetener. Now we're whipping it all up. Add the resulting mass to our soda. Mixing it up. Berry syrup. Even sweeter, even better! Let's decorate the lemonade. That's it! Good job, Jane! Just look at this lemonade. I think Mary will definitely like it. Or will she like her grandma's recipe more? Or maybe the chef's exquisite lemonade? I want to find out as soon as possible. Let's try, Mary! First, you try the chef's lemonade. What? It looks like Mary didn't appreciate the taste of the lemonade at all. Oh. Unbelievable. Let's well, go. we're going further. Grandma's lemonade. Not bad. Woo. Only sister's lemonade remains. Would Mary really like it the most? Wow. We have a winner, yeah. And this is Jane. Congratulations on a well-deserved victory. <laughs> What? Wow, how many products? And what are we going to cook? Let's Fish? Go. Wow. <laughs> now let's see who's the most skilled in cooking the dish. Let's see, it looks like grandma decided not to waste time in vain. She immediately takes a piece of fish and puts it in the pan. Okay, let's try to repeat after grandma. Oh, what a smell. Okay, it looks like it will do. You can play my favorite game now. So it's time to turn the fish over. A little salt. No pepper. Lovely. Just lovely. Hmm. What? Yeah. It seems no one here knows how to cook fish. Well, never mind. Now I'll show you everything. 
To begin with, we need a little orange, some spices, and a little oil. That's it. We roll the fish in our miracle breading what? and frying it. Oh, I almost forgot. We'll need all this. Yeah, perfect. We throw it all in the mixer. A little orange juice for the taste. <laughs> now it's time to whip our sauce. Believe me, you have hardly tasted something so delicious. Meanwhile, our fish has fried properly. We put it on a plate. Now my favorite is serving. This is how we serve fish in my restaurant. Lime and our signature sauce. That's it! Finally some greenery! Perfect! Oh, girl, did you decide to start a fire? Oh, you need to be more careful, Jane. Look what happened to your piece of fish. But there's no time left at all. We'll have to serve fish like this. It doesn't look very good, to put mildly. What can be said about grandma's fish? Perfect. And finally, the chef's dish. Yeah, such a serving would be appreciated in any restaurant. Would Mary appreciate it? We'll find out. It seems she immediately put a dislike to Jane's dish. Now grandma's dish. Very tasty. But wait! You haven't tasted the fish from the chef yet! Oh, it seems the restaurant food is not to Mary's taste at all. Sorry, chef, but this time Mary's heart was conquered by her grandmother. How sweet. <laughs> it's time for the third round. Let's see. A cupcake? Hmm, which of our participants is the most experienced baker? Grandma, of course, knows a lot about baking. She immediately starts cooking the dough. Look at this speed. Wow. Great. Grandma added all the necessary ingredients. It's time to whisk. Beat the dough properly. And of course, we're without cupcake molds. How beautiful they are. Carefully pour the dough into the molds. Like this. It remains only to put the cupcakes in the oven. Great, great job, Grandma! Now we just have to wait. <laughs> and how's the chef's doing? It seems her dough is almost ready. Now she puts in the berries. Wow! Mix the berries together with the dough. How beautiful! What's next, chef? It's time to get the molds. We pour a beautiful red mass into a large cupcake mold. And sending it to the oven. Perfect! Wow, how cool! What do I have here? Uh, how boring it is to knead the dough. An idea! I recently saw a life hack. Here it is. That's just brilliant! Can I make a cupcake that easy? Wow! And it will turn out so cool! Yeah! Well, that's Woo! settled. Let's go! <laughs> now let's see how this life hack will work. Add cacao powder and a little chocolate syrup to the milk. Great, now we're whipping. The resulting mass is poured into a glass. The oven won't work for this recipe. We need to find something else. A microwave. Well, we put the glass in the microwave. Now we just have to wait. Oh, and grandma's cupcakes seem to be ready. What an appetizing crust. And the smell. Put the cupcakes on a plate. A little powdered sugar on top. And I think the chef's cupcake is ready too. We get this treat out of the oven. And of course, we're without branded serving from the chef. Oh, so much whipped cream. What could be better than a combination of berries and whipped cream? Now it's time for Jane's cupcakes. I hope they're so delicious. And what a smell. She should definitely appreciate it. I'm sure my granddaughter will make the right choice. My cupcakes are the best. <gasps> Where should I start? Okay. A cupcake and a mug? Weird, but let's try. Mm, so so. No. Okay, what else is there? Let's try these. Hmm, not bad. But I'm not thrilled. Wow! Wow, what a huge cupcake! <gasps> Can't wait to try it. How delicious! Yes, this is the winner! Oh. The chef's cupcake turned out to be the best. No critic can resist it. <gasps> There's so many products here. What are we cooking this time? Soup? Wow! And what is your favorite soup? Write in the comments and maybe in the next videos, our heroes will cook exactly your favorite dish. It looks like the chef has seriously taken up cooking soup. Look at how many different ingredients she has. Well, no soup can be made without water, right? Now a little cream and butter. That's it. Add some spices. <laughs> Whoa, take it easy, chef. It looks like the ingredients for the soup will never run out. Now there are also shrimps. 
Looks like Jane is having too much fun. Let's look at her. Hey, it's time for you to get serious about cooking. Grandma has already cut all the necessary vegetables. It looks like mushroom soup is waiting for us. Surely grandma collected these mushrooms herself. How cool. Add cream and stir. Super. What a great soup grandma has. Mm, however, I didn't remember anything. Okay. Then they sort of put no. this. No, um, maybe this? Not that, but not that. Oh, is this what you need? Cheese. We throw it there. Yeah, now we're on the way. Perfect, let's mix it. It's not that hard to cook soup. Now let's throw some carrots. Great. Wow, what a cool thing. Let's go. Let's stir it. I think it's fine. The soup is just perfect. By the way, my exclusive recipe. What do you think, grandma? What kind of amateurs? The last touch remains. Bola. Whose soup will win Mary's heart? Jane's turned out very well. And grandma's mushroom soup looks just wonderful. But the chef's exquisite soup looks no worse. It's up to you, Mary. Okay. Well, let's start with this one. It smells strange. Ugh, are these mushrooms? I hate mushrooms! Next one. Mmm, something interesting. No. No, that's not it. Now the third oh. soup. That looks a complete mess. Let's try it. Whoa! This is the best soup I've ever had! Yes, it's the winner! Wow, Jane, congratulations! <laughs> so the heroes have a responsible task to feed the baby. And what does she want? The baby wants french fries. Mm -hmm. Nothing complicated. We'll do everything. I know the recipe. It seems that you need to pour oil. I'll pour more. It'll be fatter and tastier. So for sure, everything will fry well. I'll fill up the whole pan with some oil. Let's turn it on and let's start. I'll use the whole pack because there are never too many of the french fries. Hey. Granddaughter, what are you doing? Oh, it's burning! We need to put out the fire quickly! Oh no, 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 no! It's not like the recipe on YouTube! Oh. Almost burned down the kitchen and all of us! Oh. Better learn from grandma. Now grandma will show you how to do it. We'll take quite a bit of oil. Turn down the heat a little and put the potatoes in. So it'll be perfect. I'll toss it around and put it on a plate. What? Oh, how well it turned out. It's all for my granddaughter. It remains to add the most delicious ketchup. French fries and ketchup are the perfect combination. My granddaughter will definitely like it. And how many calories are in this dish? I'll show you how it should be. We get rid of excess oil. Then we wrap the potatoes in a piece of fragrant bacon and twist the roll. Just like that. Add a drop of cranberry gluten-free jam from Duro's on top. Just like that. And add some rosemary on top. The masterpiece is ready. I've come up with something better. Banana marshmallow trolley is so similar to potatoes. And if you add Hershey's strawberry mm -hmm. syrup, it'll be just like potatoes with ketchup. But it tastes so sweet. That's what my little sister will really like. Finally, everything is ready. And the baby has already been waiting for her food. The dish from my grandmother was the first to attract attention. Classic french fries and ketchup. It looks really delicious. The baby obviously liked it. I wonder how she would like a dish for real gourmets. The chef took an unusual recipe, but it was not appreciated. And there was a gift from my sister. It looks like potatoes and ketchup, but this… Yes! It's a sweet marshmallow with strawberry sauce. Deep and eat. It remains to choose the winner. A dish from grandma. Yes, I won! Oh, it hurts. What will the baby want to eat now? Oh, she wants to eat sushi. 
What is this? I don't know how to cook it. Show grandma what to do. First, you need to boil the rice in a special way. I'll do it. Grandma knows how to cook rice. Ah, <laughs> uh, sushi with nasty seaweed. I'd rather do something sweet again. Or sweet and sour. Let's take the sweet and sour tongues. Add whipped cream instead of sauce. Rub a marmalade eye and a few marmalades from Haribo. How big and colorful they turn out. Have you ever seen sushi like that? This is just absolutely perfect. <laughs> Now you need to take a sheet of nori and cut it in half. It's all dry, it's breaking. How did you do that? Because I'm unprofessional, Grandma. I'm gonna cut some fish. Perfect slices. Put some rice on the mat. And some nori. I twist it with the mat. Put some fish on top. Cut it. And that's it. Classic Philadelphia roll with ginger and wasabi is ready. <laughs> Granny can't make these rolls of yours. They don't keep their shape. Bingo! I have an idea. I'm just gonna cut some cucumbers. Get rid of the center and put rice in it. Perfect. <laughs> now it's time for the baby to try it. Let's start with these. Sushi from the chef look perfect. And it tastes incredible. What a big and bright roll. And very, very tasty. So delicious that she immediately chose them as the winner. This time, a sweet gift from my sister overcame everyone. Oh, you haven't tried mine. Hey, Grandma, wake up. The granddaughter wants something delicious again. She wants to drink a chocolate cocktail for dessert. This is my favorite recipe. We'll need some ice cubes. I'll pour more chocolate sauce into the jar. Starbucks milk chocolate to the brim. And I'll create some milk foam with a hand mixer. Oh, um, sorry, Grandma. You got too close. What is this bag in Grandma's hands? Instant coffee three in one? Is she really going to give this to her granddaughter? Yeah, but it seems that grandma herself likes it. Now add the whipped cream. I often cook myself such a recipe. By the way, don't forget about yourself. Sprinkle the Oreo cookie crumbs on top. Put the cookie on. Such a cocktail should be drunk through a straw. That's it! The perfect chocolate milkshake. Who cooks it like that? That's a horror! I have made coffee sweet drinks more than once. We need fresh coffee beans. I measure everything to the gram. I grain the grains into fine crumbs. Then I brew it in French press. The coffee will be perfect. Pour it into the cup. And adding some milk. I'm gonna create some foam out of it. I certainly won't spray anyone because I'm unprofessional. And the snowflake decoration. Perfect. Oh my! It's time to try the drinks. The hand itself reaches for a beautiful glass. It's a wonderful cocktail. Also delicious cookies on top. It's perfect! Hmm. What cannot be said about the instant coffee? Her grandma wanted to poison her granddaughter. It's impossible to drink. Oh. Coffee foam from the chef with a pleasant aroma. But the hmm. taste is nothing unusual. The baby chooses the beautiful cocktail. Yes, keep it up, sis. You've won again. <laughs>